auction theory itself is is about auctions. We it, we can use it to raise more revenue. We can use it to reduce costs in procurement too. And so a partial answer, but I think you might have had in mind um, a broader answer. And what we use uh, mo- game theory for in these uh, modern uh, designs is to create ways to be responsive to information. So we might care whether a local community is uh, trying to decide how much to spend on libraries or how much to spend on schools, and it wants to respect a voters' opinions about that. And game theory could help us uh, design a voting system where, for example, uh, we ask people, you know, what fraction would you like to spend of the budget on schools or libraries? And and it turns out that what game theory teaches us is that a good way to do that is to use the median uh, spending. And uh, the reason for that is makes use of people's information, but it also avoids creating incentives for you to exaggerate. If you uh, say, if you want to increase spending on schools and you're bigger than the median, if you exaggerate your number, uh, it doesn't help you at all. It doesn't create more spending. So it provides an incentive for people to report truthfully. And that's an example of how you can use um, uh, game theory to uh, gather information or to design ways to gather information that's truthful uh, so that you can use it to set good policy. Uh, You know, since that interview, there's already been some uh, innovation in the the use of market design for improving uh, vaccine production. One of the problems that we had at that time, the time I I, I gave my last interview, is that the supplies were being hoarded. We didn't have, um, we, we have vaccine manufacturers who don't have access to, uh, to the right supplies. And, and COVAX and CEPI have uh, created a new, a new exchange where the manufacturers can exchange supplies to improve production. You know, I also thought, I believe I probably commented on in that interview, that you have to have the right vaccines go to the right places. Some of these vaccines require ultra cold temperatures. And you don't want to send a vaccine that has to be kept at an ultra cold temperature uh, into a rural area with poor roads where, you know, with no refrigeration. Mm. Uh, So so, uh, market design uh, can be used to uh, encourage uh, getting the right vaccines into the right places. And the role of game theory and all that Mm. is that when you... um, if you just ask people questions and don't pay attention to the game theory, if you say, what are your capabilities or how much do you need? People will tend to exaggerate. And if you want truthful information, you need to design the system with the right incentives for that. You asked, for example, about other applications of game theory. There are other people doing market design where it's not about auctions, but it's it's still about resource allocation. Mm-hmm. So you might ask um, how you assign children to schools or organ transplant and uh, kidney exchange, which donors, uh, which patients uh, receive kidneys from donors. And you want to set that up too in, in ways that you get accurate information so that the decisions you're making are as valuable as possible. And all of those areas take advantage of, of uh, game theory, uh, mostly to pay attention to the incentives people have to be honest, reveal the information that we need and not to lie about it. So we have a number of markets that are designed without money at all. It, it's true mm-hmm. that if you uh, were naive about it, and, and this is the reason you need to design your markets carefully, you need to keep in mind what your goals are. Uh, if the goal is to raise money, of course, then what you described would happen. But if you have other goals, uh, what, if what you're trying to do is to arrange for the right vaccines to go to the right areas, uh, you can do that without exchange of money. For example, mm-hmm. you know, in the, in the U.S., we have um, charitable food banks that have a system for swapping uh, food supplies so that the, the right supplies go to the right areas. And mm-hmm. they don't pay any money to one another, but the system is set up that's basically a barter exchange that improves the allocation even without spending money. And that could be done for vaccines too.